Salutations once again to another now playing segment. I'm Jonathan Toya from GameSpot Asia and we're gonna check out One Piece Kaizoku Muso. It's published by Namco Bandai and is developed by Omega Force. If you haven't heard of the latter, you have not been playing Dynasty Warriors that much. Uh, this part should be familiar to fans. Um, this is after the time skip, the part where uh, Ichiro Oda, the creator, decided to take like a three or two week break after doing the manga. Well deserved anyway, since the series has been going on for so damn long. Alright, cool. And that's our hero right there, Monkey D. Luffy. He has the power to stretch his arms really long, very elastic body, Mr. Fantastic, style attacks and whatnot, except not in anime form. And the guy talking to the snail is Sanji, the guy next to him is Zoro. Zoro's a sword fighter guy, he can do lots of cool stuff with different kinds of swords simultaneously. Sanji, well, he's the cook for the team, and he does a lot of kicks. Yeah, as you can tell, I just know a little bit about the universe itself. This, hey, it's something I really want to get into, like the pirate ship full of, well, the guy, green hair guy with a sword, and a dead skeleton, a cyborg, a shape-shifting, sorry, shape-shifting reindeer, and a woman who can grow up to eight arms at one go. Anyway, let's head back to this part. We were shooting pew pew. I think that robot's called a Pacifista robot. It's modeled after Kuma, one of the characters in the show. And if you can tell from the prompt, from the top there, you see the meters going really slow. That's pretty good. Uh, I mean, like, that's a lot of uh, the leeway of time before you put in the input, so it's really, really hard to fail at these. You're the best around. Na -na 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 -na. Take down these fools. Here you'll be learning. This is basically like the first stage, so all the controls. You, don't, you actually are given prompts to do set combos A and combos B or whatnot. So doing those punches and whatnot, square and triangle, X is to like dodge left and right, you know, like evade and skip around. A bunch of pretty funky moves in those arms. Later on in the game, you can use R1 to do a special skill like deflect the lips with your fat and elastic body, or R2 to actually start aiming and doing a creeping from peer to peer later on. And if you press the circuit button, you get to actually use up your um, spirit energy of sorts to do special moves. This one, yeah, that's a special move to circle button. Uses up the spirit, so just gather some more by beating up more enemies and 
picking whatever food stuff you can find in treasure chests. It's pretty ironic that for a guy who wants to be a pirate, he really can't touch water or, or he will die. See, he got these elastic powers from eating the devil fruit and the one stipulation from the devil fruit is that he cannot touch water. And if you think these bits are pretty cool, just wait till you get to the later parts to be fighting like pirates model after real life pirates. That's the worst case of the gout right there. Just keep attacking and dodge whenever possible, and rinse and repeat. It's a matter of how the spectacle is, I believe that's what the developers of Mario Force are focusing on. I mean, they've already known the beat em up. Yeah, I mean, they've already figured out the beat em up bit, bit by bit, you know, from the past Dynasty Warrior games. So now they focus on more theatrics this time, like all the fireworks, the cell shaded look, and the kick ass quick time events you experience before, during, and after a fight. So, here there, if you blink and you miss, uh, apparently you press R1, you try to do all the quick time things here, and obviously I kind of failed here, I had to do it again. Yeah, I kind of messed up that part, because I didn't know I didn't know you were supposed to hold it down. I thought I was just supposed to tap it. I mean, if you fail a quick time, your the boss's health will regenerate a bit. But no matter, um, this fight's easy enough.
みんな船で待ってるおいどうしたレイリー一応様子を見に来たが問題なさそうだなああレイリー2年間本当にいろいろありがとう<笑>改まる柄じゃない早く行けレイリー俺はやるぞ海賊王に俺はなる That's some character banter right here with the undead guy, the female pirate co worker, the robot, and the mutant reindeer, and the six arm lady right there. Right, and I'm gonna, I believe I'm gonna proceed to the first、um, story arc where you fight this clown pirate who can break himself into little itty bitty parts, segment himself. Yeah, I think he's called Buggy. And this is the this, this is the part where you relive the relive the first arc. Like, this is the first time you actually meet Nami. She's a thief. Wants to actually backstab you and steal stuff, the map or whatnot. You haven't met like Sanji and the rest of the team yet.、So. And you also start off piddling like, in the other really pretty state, so your life is pretty low. And. There you go, you've been chased by Buggy's pirates. And if you say to save the. Oh my, those are some huge pair of. Eyes! Yes, that's it, eyes! So naturally, since you start off weak in the very first story arc, your moves aren't as flashy as what they were in the very first, ep very first、uh, stage in this game. So your combos are pretty limited, but hey, it's not without its use. I mean, you've got the basics like the triple square, square, square triangle, square triangle, square, and yeah. Oh, you can also charge your moves too, don't forget. Basically, more power and break guarding opponents. Later on, you'll be facing more opponents with shields, or even bigger, tougher enemies that don't get、uh, killed down or knocked back easily. As easily as the cannon fodder here. I would say this game is slightly easier considering that, that, that there are telltale signs of enemies wanting to attack you by their flashing red, flashing red lights and whatnot. And it's also good to get like an AI partner to help you out, though you'll be doing most of the work in this case. So, for those accusing this of being nothing more than button masher, what do you expect from a mega force? That's all they do, and whatever they do, it's actually it's pretty alright depending on what kind of setting and theme you like. If you like Chinese, Fighting, trying to romance the Chicken Dance theme. Let's go for Nicey Warriors. In this case, this one's targeting for the One Piece fans, and people want to actually check out the series as a newbie. And I have to say, I mean, when it's translated in English, hopefully soon, because it's pretty big in the US as well, hopefully this will grab a lot of fans, you know. By the time this video is published, I think we'll do pretty well on the Media Creates chart. Probably number one, debut at number one. 
probably move a lot against the units. I'm sure of it. That's one of his other special moves with the R1. You can actually select different skills. You can deflect cannonballs and bullets with his uh, that move, basically. He just expands himself. Also a pretty good counter move against other cannon wielding enemies. And like any other game, for that matter, um, regardless of whether it's pirate theme, you get treasure chests. Punch him and you probably get good stuff that replenishes your health or your SP meter, you know, to use your special moves and whatnot. Those are your options right there. Um, check the map. Gotta check the move list right there. Got a couple of those. I mean, they're not that hard to memorize, but just in case if you want to see what they do, what they do, just take a look see. And there, it's also nice that actually show off the moves, which actually does a long range thing, or whether it knocks back, it hits one area one particular section or it's like a crowd control attack. That's pretty nifty. That's also the transcript for your dialogue right there, just you know what's up. Yes, run! Run away from my hundred hand slaps courtesy of the plastic man wearing the straw hat. Cower in fear as I add in the words Gumi Gumi to every attack I pull off. Yeah! Yeah, some missions can be a little, little long, so I'd suggest you find any safe point you can. You never know when you might inevitably get killed and have to restart the level all over again. And Nami betrays you, just like any enemy. I don't know how much she pays her chiropractor. You know, because of the eyes. さて、私が I kinda expected the clown pirates to also dress up like, we'll say, like the leader with the red nose and the makeup. Yeah, they're not really following the theme right here, unfortunately. What? Do the right thing, just like Spike Lee would do. <laughs> 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 
てめえどういうつもりだなんだお前今さら俺を助けてくれたのかバカ言わないで勢いでやっちゃったのよ。Kind of at her really big... 私の人は何だと、ネクレス。Yeah, that's it, necklace. Yeah. A pretty noticeable necklace at that. 大嫌いな海賊と同類には。人をちょぐるのも大概にしろ、小娘。派手に苦しい。まだ火が。And Zoro to the rescue with his many swords. And as then the fair, you get to actually control the other protagonist. Just to get used to his moves and whatnot. I'd say his attacks are a little slower than Luffy's, but hey, the sword is not damage and you're carrying a bunch of them at the same time, so don't complain. It's pretty cool. Uh, just keep in mind the attacks that you have, because if you do a delay like that, like what I just showed off just now, just um, be wary some bosses can knock you out of that. Tornado Claw. Tornado Claw! Tornado Claw, that's Claw. Yeah, I still have Marvel vs. Capcom on the brain. And he's not sticking to theme, he's using knives. Why not like a giant bat or a giant hammer? A clown colored hammer or something. But hey, segmenting yourself like this is actually pretty cool on its own. Okay, uh, let's head straight to the boss fight, because all we'll be doing later on is just a lot more killing and punching and punching. And keep in mind, this is actually one of the first guys Luffy fights, so you can expect more, like I said before, crazy, more crazier stuff happening later on. So essentially, that says that if there's a, like a yellow flash on top of an enemy's head, that's the perfect time to actually beat the crap out of him with your, ma with, with your magic fist. Yeah. And break his guard as well. Yeah, you can do that if you just repeatedly punch him. Oh, and make sure you do use the L1 to actually focus on him. It does get a bit disorientating in moving without targeting, like locking on to him. So almost all of his moves knock down Luffy, so just be careful. Just keep using the X, like just do square square triangle or square square and then just press an X while you're dodging him. Oh, okay, I'm actually doing a good job. But I'm trying. Okay, that's why we have to watch out for. Yeah, just don't do the same mistake I'm doing. Well, this part's easy enough, but just getting the timing of the cannon sitting you can be a bit old. Yeah, it's, it's not hard, it's just tricky, that's all. Especially with how freeform the camera can get. One, two, 
go. Gumi Gumi, change to fat bastard. This goes on and on until you reach the cannon where Bucky is standing on. And finally to this guy. Get ready, steady, and boom! Yeah, a explode to kingdom come. That's what Strong Bad would say. So I'm pretty sure that if you get knocked down, just keep pressing X. You'll automatically do an air recovery and then it will be very good. There you go, like that. Here you just basically have to go up to it and press R2. No, not like that. Um, like what I did, but there you go. Just as soon as you're in the circle, R2 and initiate quick time. Fucking punch! Almost there. Before we can deliver the coup de gras. Try to reach to him. Up oh, there we go. One. Oh, god damn it. Alright, one, two. Oh, the slaps. Oh, damn it. I don't see anyone who uses Luffy. They're just gonna go straight to the Honda slaps. Like the easiest move ever. In the nuts! Execution. Yeah, in all seriousness, I really do miss the high Jesus of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, so yeah, what piece will have to do with its pirate theme madness? That's about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, those are, those are your rewards right there. One Piece Kaizoku Muso is coming out in English, not so sure, probably soon. I mean, it's popular in America, so who knows, you might expect it anytime soon. It's out in Japan in the moment, just check your local parallel importer. Despite its brainless nature, it's pretty colorful, fanciful, and it's a pretty good stress reliever, killing dozens of pirates and whatnot. So thanks again for watching, and see you next time on another Now Playing.